Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to demo how we can leverage SmartKey to import SmartKey into Azure Key Vault. Before this demo, I already created one of the Azure PYOK Key Vault for this demo. So I can access this one. Uh, in order to for this demo, first you need to do to configure access policies. You have to register one of the application into this uh, key vault so that this application can access this key vault and perform the import operations. In order to register this uh, application, you also have to go to Azure Active Directory. Go to the app registrations. I have pre-installed uh, Azure uh, application here for this demo. So we have to enable the API permissions to make sure that we have uh, all full access to the Azure Key Vault services. And then we also need to create one security key for API call. So I name it as the API key so that later on I'm going to use a uh, API to call and perform the import operations. So that's the preparation work. I also need to uh, create a one RCA key and a smart key and uh, use uh, some APIs to import this RSA key into Azure. For this demo, I'm going to use in the Postman and perform some of the API to achieve this goal. So the first thing is that I need to generate one RSA key. So I'm going to generate one RSA key with a key size 2048. Uh, please note that we have to make sure that the key operation should be at the export so that later we can have a permission to export the key value for this RSA key. So I just run this. So you can see that the response, they will have a key creator. And uh, we are going to export this key because uh, our current smart key, we can only see the public key, but we have to use the private key for these cases. So I'm going to use a smart key, another API, export API, to export the private key of this RSA. So I'm going to run this, so that we can have a value this value is a base city for encoder of the private key. So I need to use this key to import into the Azure. Uh, let's uh, quickly review the current requirements for Azure API. So actually they need this kind of uh, payload so that we can import, which is a JSON web key. So we need to have some of the utilities to convert the base city for encode so far I have into that format. So I have one uh, script. We already have that. So we can do a conversion, which is implemented by the Python script. So I copy the value. Okay, so this is the JSON web key I'm going to use for the API call. So I copy this uh, JSON web key. And then now I'm going to use a uh, Azure API to import this key. So firstly, I need to log in. So just now, <clears throat> in order to log in, I need to provide my tenant ID information. And uh, <clears throat> we need to provide all these things. So then I can provide the Logging. So I will get this access token and I'm going to use this access token for the import operations. So in this uh, code, I need to pass the access token and uh, inside the pa pass parameters, I need to mention the 
key name. So let me uh, mention about I say key one. And then inside the body, I need to paste the result just now I generated. Okay, so now I'm going to send a request to Azure. Okay, so I get a response and then it says that it's created successfully. So now I can go to the portal to see whether I have a create successfully for that. So I can go to the home, can click the Azure BLK key vault, and click the keys. So you can see that the ISA key one has been created. Yeah, that's all for the demo. Thank you.